Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm taking them in Shipyard or Pings or... I mean, I prefer Shipyard just because it's very easy for me to just click download. That one's a winner. Best fleet ever. What are you talking about? Um, okay, so this is C60, which means these are actually 450 millimeter cannons on these monitors. <clears throat> um, normally you'd see plasma here to combo with the 100 mil. Um, plasma in a little bit of a, a rough shape right now, especially against Solomon. So I'm not opposed to the 450s. It's going to be interesting. Let me check out these formations. My God. Uh, okay, we, we play it as it lies. That's the rule. Oh, I was expecting rockets on these. Okay, these are, these are point defense. They have chaff and 100 mil on the T20s. Is there anything on the bottom? Okay, on the bottom are flares. Okay, we, we play them as they lie. All right. So these are kind of armed. Okay. And then meanwhile, we have 450s and 100 mils. All right. So let's get a game. <clears throat> yeah. If you ping me in shipyard so I can find them easily. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that are a uh, canyon. Oh, wait, this is new canyon. Okay. I actually do want to see this. Suppose uh, there was a change. Uh, let's get an OSB go. All right, cool. Community point zero four. All right. Nice. Ready? <coughs> Did I? No. No, that, that's what I was. Okay. It's captain. That's the next rank. Okay, so not facing a four stack anymore. Hopefully this is a better game. Wait, guys. Uh, need to sell. See, I love this. Oh no, this is old canyon. <laughs> uh, hey, Mazer. I uh, yeah, I crossed my wires there. Oops. That's okay. We we can we can play Old Canyon. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Read. Oh, you want me? Okay. I mean, um, yeah. That that's fine. <clears throat> we'll see. Um, I don't know. Since there are so many ships, it might be difficult to go through everything. And send it to you. But what I can promise you is I'll go over uh, how I think it's performing. And then I can off stream uh, do make all those changes and send it back to you. <coughs> I am interested in seeing how these C60s with the T30s work. Um, mostly because I'm interested in finding... Finding out if that could be an effective thing. It's going to be tough, though. I'm trying to remember. I think. Oh, actually, I can. I can take a second and check. I want to remember the AP values on the 100 mil. It is okay. So you've taken no HEHC. All right, that makes sense. So AP is 45. So that's Axford, and then HE is 30, which is uh, destroyers. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so hopefully we'll get this together here. Well, what happened? <clears throat> I have no idea what's happening in chat. He is a baker. I like that bread. That's right. Get that bread. All right, let's see what's up next. Boom, 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 boom. Mm, all right, 
Helios, I see, and then Null Aurelian, I also see. So we'll see. <clears throat> I missed someone's pinging me. Where is this? Alright, I'm ready, just waiting. Support container. -y. Oh, Ike, did you put something in? Are you, is that from Null Aurelian? Is that Ike 40? No, I'm not sure. All right, I'll, I'll be sure to mention it when we pull it up later. All right, so quick reminder for myself, we have 450 monitors. Oh, it's my teammate. Okay. We have 450 monitors plus 100 mils. Plus uh, gun shuttles. And we're on Canyon. I actually think I've only played this map one other time. So... If, if anyone is a canyon connoisseur, feel free to let me know. Uh, I don't have much strats for things that I've only played one time on. Okay, so CD. I kind of want to... Um, hmm. It's a long way to F, huh? <clears throat> Where's F? Oh, at the top? Ooh. Yeah. I mean, that does look like a long way. I don't know if I want to go there. It's huge amounts of open space. I think... Uh, let's wait and see what the rest of the team does. I think I want to go either D to E or C to B. Those look like they have more cover. All right, D to C. Uh, all right, I guess we'll go on this side. This is really interesting with them broken up like this. My plan is going to be to pepper stuff from as far away as I possibly can with those 450s keeping each monitor with its shuttle buddy kind of separated, but close enough that they can support one another. And then hopefully by mid game, all of my shuttles are still alive and I can use them to run into points and cap something. <clears throat> but we'll see how that goes out. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Oops, that went into all chat. <sighs> That's right, guys. I'm a professional. <laughs> so I think I forgot to mention... Um, Other than those last two little things on that Axford fleet, that was actually a pretty good fleet. It did work. I managed to kill two line ships with it, so it gets my stamp of approval. I think it's fine with a little bit of tweaks. Could be really good. And the Axford missile uh, backpack is a really popular archetype right now because it, it can do good work. Um, let's see. So... 
if I want to go from here to B, it looks like I come over these ridge. Otherwise, let's see what the upside down side looks like. Uh, there is a hole. I could go around and come up the hole. All right, so we'll keep that in mind. If the top side doesn't look good, we can always go underneath. But we do need to get into this gap before we can need to decide. So my teammate is going to see, probably he's going to make it there first. I'm going to set up one of these pairs kind of on the left side. We're underway, Commander. Where are you going? Ooh, got away from myself a little bit there. <clears throat> yep, you can flip the map. If you get to it, you can choose between either of the two fleets. Okay, uh, we'll see, Helios. I should have enough time, but if this match goes super long, then maybe not. We'll see. I'll definitely get at least one more game in then. Um... <laughs> Still getting over kid crud. So to sw uh, flip the map is control shift space bar, and that just turns it upside down. And one tip, if you are moving your fleets around and you're trying to figure out, you know, okay, I want to go down, but I'm not sure exactly where, and there's this thing, it's kind of messing with my perception. It's a really uh, good trick to wait until you see this orange line. You see this orange line, which is interacting. It's basically showing the contour of the rock at that level. That can be really, really helpful to say, well, I want to be kind of next to this rock, you know? So I'm going to go up and down using control until I see those lines fix where I want to be. And then that gives me a good frame of reference to know, okay, so this, you know, that's on top of the rock and here is a little bit next to it. And then that will let me pinpoint where I want to be in relation to the obstacles. It's a really good trick if you find you have yourself, you know, like, oh, I want to go up, but where did my cursor go? I have no idea. It's over here. It's over there. Those lines are really, really helpful when positioning. All right. So we'll send those over there. Send those over there. Uh, let's see. I forgot to check the drives. Looks like just normal drives on everything. These are reinforced. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, this map is 17 kilometers. From, oh, I'm not even at sea yet. 18 kilometers from where I am right now. Whew. The enemy is securing zone and this one, oh my gosh, what is this? Making the lonely journey to F up here. Oh, it's a shuttle and it's already almost made it. Well done. How far is that from the start? Standing by. It's gotta be like 15 kilometers. Jeez. <clears throat> All right, so I wanna find, uh, locate that point. Okay, so I go through under there and then that's the side. Okay, so using my little trick, I'll get this over here and then I wanna go there. And we'll do the same with this fleet. <clears throat> uh, maybe closer. We're ready when you are, Commander. Yeah, aye closer. Aye, Commander. Moving out. Do 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 do. Understood. We're on route. <coughs> Is this one K? What can we do for you, uh, I don't understand the question, Pistol Miner. Is this one K fleet? Is oh. Um, that is a good question. Uh, 
My ADD is on full display. You're ready when you are, Commander. I have no idea. I did not check that setting at all. Why is it still going all the way out here? Did I not finish this command? Understood. We're en route. There we go. Quiet. Command's on the line. Course laid in. We're on our way. Awaiting orders, Commander. Goodness gracious. It's so big. So... We have plenty of time to do some some thinking. So if they want to go to B, they probably deployed over here and went under to here. So what does that look like? So from here, they probably come out the top, right? I mean, that's what I would do. If I hadn't looked and s learned that there was a way to go underneath, I'd probably come out here into the middle. So I think we might just all go underneath. I don't want to miss them, though, potentially. That would be, well, I guess it might be okay. The thing is, A is right there. Yeah, so they probably pop up into this little tunnel and then go through there into A. That's what I guess they do. So maybe we do we do keep Receiving. Uh, this pair of monitors over here. We are en route, Commander. Moving out, Commander. So we can support A when it comes to it. Let's see where our Acello buddy is. Okay, so he's going to take up Overwatch over this trench. Are these scouts? Yes. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I, I would guess, yes, it is to 1,000. Yeah. Standing by. Did we? Okay. So we almost made it to the gap. I think let's go under here. We're on our way. Aye, aye, Commander. Moving out. Yes, Commander. And just prepare for what happens. Maybe they didn't come to be. But we got F. Good job. Kudos to you, Captain Cupcake 3. I will buy you a cupcake, sir. All right, let's take a look around at what the rest of the team is doing. Keep our situational awareness. We've got line ships. <clears throat> Probably going to get into a fight on E. What does E look like? Can I zoom in on E? No. Oh, there's B. All right, so someone's definitely there. Okay, how do we want to play this? I think we set up a crossfire here and just hope that they come through this trench above B. It looks like that's how our fleet is going, so we can support him what are our orders, Commander? with our little bit of fire that we have access to. Speaking of, we've got some... We are en route, Commander. We're on our way. Negative. That's out of range. Uh, that was the wrong yes, fleet to give that command to. Yeah, I know it's out of range. So the reason why I'm giving these fire controls, even though I'd have to shoot through a rock in order to hit that, is because these are casemates, I want them to go ahead and orient on the target. Even though there's no chance I can hit them, the cannons will aim, and then as soon as they come out of cover, 
I'll be on target and able to shoot. And that's what I want. But it looks like we lost the EWR on them. What can we do for you? But based on their posturing, they did indeed look like they're going to come up over this. And so based on that, I think I'm going to decide to go up. That will keep me with friend. Uh, is there a good reason to keep weapons on free instead of tight? Not really. Um, you don't want to ever be in a situation where you're relying on the AI to automatically shoot back in order to win you the game. That's just not a good position to be in. <clears throat> uh, maybe every once in a while... If you have a really big fleet and you're struggling to you, command. give commands to it and keep it kind of on the move, Turn it might help you now. in returning fire, Moving out. Um, like sort of orient the cannons uh, or whatever it is that you have before you get there. But in general, I mean, the only difference between free and tight is if someone shoots you on free, you'll shoot back. Meanwhile, tight, your guns will only fire if you give a fire command. Standing by. Yeah, it's almost kind of like a, a real-time strategy type setting where, you know, classically you'd say if you want your units to shoot back or not. But so much of this game is you have to really be on top of your fleets, maneuvering them, giving headings and fire orders and whatnot. There's just not enough uh, automation that you'd really want to rely on that. Aye, aye, Commander. Moving out. And it's not required, really, in my opinion, either. Uh, well, it's a little disappointing. We haven't not seen those ships anymore. Can, where's that early warning radar? Let's see if we can get some of that early warning radar. It is really helpful. And I'm worried about stumbling into something nasty if I get much closer without it. Then again... We're already almost at 300 points, so maybe I don't even get there. Let's see. Let's go to the top of this ridge and see what happens. I need to make something happen or I'll have absolutely no feedback on how this fleet performs. That would be sad. Just go ahead and set up on either side of this ridge. I don't want to be in the ridge in case they pop out. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be in the middle of a barrel that they can just shoot down. But eventually I will have to decide unless I go all the way over here and just hope that they haven't also decided to go up. Then again, maybe there's just nothing there. No one's capped A either. Oh, there's a Solomon. Maybe we can maneuver on him. Let's see. How far to that hole? All right, we're going. We're underway, Commander. Aye, aye, Commander. Moving out. I've seen him. I want him. We'll be there before you know it. I gotta know. I gotta know how it works. Moving out, Commander. Standing by. Let's go all flank. Receiving. Yeah. The EWR doesn't see anything at B. It's very close now. 
So I think there's just nothing at B. All right, so I'm going to break off one of my shuttles. Which shuttle is close? Standing by. This one. All right, we're going to break this off. You go down there. Oop. Understood. We're Cap on that. Way. Flank. Receiving. And let's run everybody else in. Uh, there is a Solomon. There is an Axford. Okay. So we definitely do want to be in this spot. Let's go ahead. Understood. Engaging the end. Get our, all of our cannons lined up. Hopefully we'll be able to make it before they cross too far and get cover from us. Then we can just shoot them from our little hidey hole. And that will be great. Um, 100 mil AP is going to be what I'm firing. That should be enough to pierce through to the Axford. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. The The thing about this, and I understand now why um, Piston Miner said that 1K would be a problem, is because of the distances involved, it's, a, it's slower. But we are just now getting to range where we can actually fire at each other. And already we're, you know, 400 out of 1,000 points uh, to winning. So... That kind of cuts down on the actual combat time. I think if we'd gone with uh, 1,500, maybe even 2,000, yeah, I could see that being a lot better. Negative, uh, okay. I don't have radar anymore, so I'm going to manually aim these. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and get these loaded, too. Oh, here we go. So go ahead and set up this orbit. I do want to dodge fire when it comes in. Oh, I forgot. We actually have weapons on these shuttles. Might as well. It's, it's pretty difficult to... Uh, ooh, boy. Run away now. Run away now. Oh, where's four? Four. Understood. We're on route. Understood. We're on route. Oh, they're not going for me. Okay. This is, this is kind of difficult to get all these attacks out. Oh, talk to us. Is that friendly fire? What happened? We're taking fire, Receive. Commander. Uh, oh, geez. Aye, aye, Commander. Moving out. Talk to us. Bluebird, all engines. I uh, I didn't realize there is only 450 AP loaded in these in these cannons. I'm blue, right? What are these? Oh, okay. They're set on point. Uh, do these have point defense? No, they don't. <laughs> well, that is real unfortunate. Um, okay. That is real, real unfortunate. I need to mark this a primary because I'm going to lose sight of it. What can we do for you, Commander? All right. Meanwhile, let's let's hope that that eats all the missiles. And meanwhile, we will just keep shooting at it. Kind of hard to tell if we're hurting it very much. All right. We need to stay back behind. Uh, and let's. Let's re formation this shuttle. Copy that. Forming up. We're 
Ready, Commander. Okay, so two, three, four now. Two. Target acquired. Three. And four. Initiating attack. We're ready, Commander. We're moving. Three and four. Oh, Standard looks like. Looks like that other Axford is shooting at us now. Let's primary him too. Standing by, Commander. Tell us what to do, Commander. And we'll shoot him instead. Do we have locks? Okay, we have locks. Oh my goodness gracious. Target acquired. Enemy fire. Haha! That's right! The best point defense available. A dead hull right in front of you. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Something hit us. Ouch. Oh my gosh. Oh. All the lockers are gone. We're ready, Commander. <laughs> well, we're certainly shooting a lot at them. But absolutely no point defense is a real... Okay, we do have damage control teams, so even though all of these are dead, we'll be able to uh, hopefully not explode here. Also, this one. All right. There's a lot of restores available. We're ready, Commander. We're on our way. Enemy missile incoming. Let's move. Let's move. Well, I wonder how the rest of the team is doing. We're taking a beating here. Copy that. We're on route. Yes, Commander. Please tell me you're going to fix this. The enemy has engaged. That would be real bad if this exploded. I think it might. Uh, oh boy. Okay, uh, let's just separate out all of these shuttles. Uh, okay. Let's see. This one, uh, still a little bit alive. This one, not alive at all. This one... Okay, this one's still alive. A citadel. Okay. Uh, let's see. Almost all of these are dead. Let's see if we can quickly. Where's five? All right. Let's quickly reform this. Six, seven, eight. Gonna slightly undo the we play it as we as it lies rule. Uh, okay, that's dead. This is doesn't have thrusters. Oh, here come the beams. All right, that's all she wrote. Uh, three and three. Can't. All right. All right. Let's see if we can back it up. Still taking fire. Um, I'm just going to have to hope that this Axford is in fact hurt. I actually have no idea. Uh, hopefully that is cello. Oh, no, it's getting beamed. That's unfortunate. Can we repair this? Yes. Drive. CIC. Magazine. Make it happen. Uh... Okay, let's figure out what we're doing with these shuttles. Um, wow, we have a five cap. Okay, I guess we just uh, come up here and hang out. And continue to soak fire, I guess. Let's change this to loose. Can this move? Yeah, all right. 
Uh, don't care about that. Care about that. Magazine sprinklers. Okay. Um. Yeah, sure. Understood. We're on our way. <coughs> Why is this not moving? Oh, because the driver's out. That makes sense. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, monitors, in, in a way, um, they're not supposed to be anchors like you'd expect a an Axford to anchor. We hear you, command. Um, they they do have forty centimeter centimeters of armor. That is the toughest. At least in terms of armor, that the oh, am I being beamed? That is the toughest amount of armor that the OSP has access to, and they're they're pretty tanky. The problem is, um, they don't really have the amount of quote unquote hit points. I, I say quote unquote because these modules don't have a lot of health and. They crucially don't have like a very high damage reduction. An Axford has 40% uh, damage reduction. So you hit it with 10 damage, it takes four. And because of that, combined with the armor, combined with a lot more access to and then toughness of the different components that they can take inside them, it just makes for a lot tougher ship. So these... Monitors are kind of like, um, I don't know, what's the word? They have a hard exterior, but on the inside, they're soft and chewy. So as long as you attack them with weapons that hit, they are small, they are able to avoid 450 fire. But if the weapons you shoot at them do hit, they can't stand up to it very long. Even 250 millimeter uh, AP, as long as the accuracy on them are good, a monitor can't stand up to that very long before it dies and especially in the case of like missiles um if the missiles get through they'll die very very quickly but you know we did we were a good distraction we did pepper this axford it looks like you know Tell us what to do. Uh, pill bugs yeah oh we already won well that's a shame but it was fun for that little bit there <laughs> gg uh I'll go ahead and next say uh, this time maybe better at two two k. Uh, yeah. Um, so I do want to check our damage. Let's see, two forty eight seventy three seven thirty five twelve forty. Is this just from AP shells? Okay. So let's see, 12%. Yeah, that's another thing, Armageddon. Um, yeah. So high explosive missiles are, uh, are, are very, very damaging to a monitor because of their small size. They will go in and, and just gut them. Uh, so let's see. We fired about half. On this shuttle? No, 13%. Okay. So 13%, 2%, 2%, 6%. Uh, let's check here. <laughs> <coughs> so this poor monitor only fired four AP shells. Uh, this one fired 16 out of the 550 carried. Uh, four. 20 okay so let's do some quick maths call this 1000 uh 2000 3000 basically 3000 points of damage um wasn't a very good engagement definitely you know staring down the barrel of two axfords and a solomon not the best of choice but they are eh you know no regrets so Okay, let's talk. Uh, what was that? 0 0.04, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm not, um, you know, 
moralistically, I guess, opposed to putting a 450 on a monitor. The thing is, you're not going to get many or basically any, in this case, um, buffs. So first of all, for modules, I mean, the bulwark is okay. The reinforced drive, I'm not a huge fan of taking a reinforced drive on a monitor because you're typically bow on and the drive is all the way in the back. So if this thing dies, it's because the entire rest of the ship is already dead. Maybe a little bit of point savings there. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's kind of like just, you know, a 10 point saver there. So let's say this just needs to be a regular drive. That's fine. Okay. Huntress is okay. Maybe not every single ship has to have them. You know, again, that's just a point saving thing. Say we'll just make two of them bridge masters instead or drop it entirely. You know, magazine sp sprinklers. I don't think you need these. Um, you know, reducing the catastrophic event is okay, but it's a lot of points and it takes a slot that I think would be better used by an ammunition elevator. And then this power, we don't want this. We don't want this at all. Probably another, um, ammo elevator I'd say would be better. And then there's no reason to run this much power. So just one of these will be fine. <clears throat> as far as ammo, um, so you can see here, what's our fire rate right now on this? Okay. So we, re we reload in 42 seconds, right? So let's call it, we're going to shoot uh, two times per minute and a half. So four times in three minutes, right? So let's do a calculator. Divide 550 by four shots times, wait, am I doing this right? No. Let's do uh, that times that divided by 60. Okay, so in order to fire all 550 shells of this 450 millimeter AP ammo that you have here would take 385 minutes. <coughs> and we could say, you know, that's ballpark okay be, uh, for the math because uh, that's almost like three quarters of a minute. <laughs> So this could go, oops, I didn't want to do that. Undo, redo. Yeah, so this could be, um, you know, way, way down. Uh, other than that, okay. So, so many large lockers here isn't really a good idea because they'll all get taken out together. Um, having one of them be a reinforced they cost the same amount of points you get less restores you get less DT dc teams but <coughs> when you take a point uh, uh take a hit i should say the reinforced lockers usually won't die they'll live a lot longer um because of this number this damage threshold that means when they get to zero based on the amount of uh damage thingies you have here uh, I think 35 protects you from HEI missiles, right? So 50 times 0.8. No. Okay. Never mind. Um, they do have more hit points. They are a little bit tougher to kill. You you don't get as good as an Axford gets, but it's still better. Usually you want to take at least one reinforced. If you're going to take DC, I mean like the big ones. Usually you take at least one reinforced, so you don't wind up in a situation where you've taken a hit and just all the DC lockers are dead. Uh, next point, they need some kind of point defense. <laughs> um, because you don't have the plasma, these T-30s, really all the 100 mil is not going to be doing any capital slaying. You might want to drop some of that for like, uh, especially on the sides here. You can take some flak. Uh, I would not take one of these antennas. It's not really necessary. 
you can take flak instead. And um, I would probably split this up. If you want to have more than one group, that's fine. But by having the shuttle with the monitors, it kind of it makes it hard to control the monitors and because you have so many different groups and just, you know, usually you want to have one group of ships that similar speed, similar weapon profiles. They fight together as a pack better. And then I would say do the monitors as one group and the shuttles as another group or maybe two and two. And that'll give you uh, still four groups. But in combat, if you're trying to fight with the monitors, you only have to worry about two groups instead of four. Um, other than that, these shuttles, I think these are okay. <clears throat> Except for the flare decoys. I don't like flare decoys mostly because I think wake seekers aren't very good right now. Um, almost no one runs primary flares except for mean containers. So maybe some AMMs or probably better on here are some point defense turrets. But yeah, thanks for sharing this fleet. Uh, we got to see how it worked. And I will send that back to you with some changes.